Alright, what's up fam? Tesla just posted a new bot video and I'll get to it in a moment but I found something rather amusing. I don't know if it's just a coincidence or not but Tesla didn't upload a single video on their YouTube channel until I called them out for it on X. Yo, I'm not saying I made them post but a day after I called them out, they posted. A full week had already gone by um, after the 1010 Wii robot event before they posted on their YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything but like it was just surprising to me that they posted after I called them out. Yeah, so basically. So here's the video, I'll let you guys watch it uninterrupted without my voice ruining the whole experience then we'll talk about it once the video is done. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. I have to say, the speed at which Tesla is advancing in the robotics space is wild. Like guys, two years ago, the Tesla team had to push the bot out to show its live audience a working prototype that couldn't even stand unassisted. Now it works very confidently. It's still slow, but speed could always be improved. I think Tesla is going for functionality before speed. Optimus also navigates on its own while avoiding obstacles in the process and I have to say this is one of the most detailed slam based maps I have ever seen in my life and this is coming from a former robotics intern. Alright, in case you don't know what slam is, it's a method commonly used in computer vision that allows robots and other autonomous vehicles to build a map and localize itself on that map at the same time in the events that there is no GPS. It's also like so basically it's like a 3D Google Maps or Apple Maps. Yeah, it's a very solid job from Tesla. Also, the bot now charges itself. I have to say I love the implementation. Okay, let me tell you why. Look closely, the Tesla bot charging dock is implemented in a way that the bot could be hung on its dock like a coat on a coat hanger so that the bot doesn't expend power while charging. Cause here yeah, it takes a little power to make the bot stand upright. Personally, I would have wanted the charger to be an inductive mat much like the RoboTaxi's charger where the Tesla bot walks on it and docks. So two problems with this wireless mat approach. Okay, first problem, while walking, ground contact with the feet would wear or destroy the inductive coils under the feet in the long term. And the second problem is that the bot could be tipped over by anyone if it's charging in an upright position. But with Tesla's current implementation, none of these things would actually happen. Again, incredible thinking by the Tesla team. Okay, for an aspect that they didn't think through, okay, what happens if I'm to travel with my Tesla bot and then I need to charge? and the charger is just mounted on the wall at my home. So what am I going to do? Is there a portable solution like a wall brick? I hope there is because just having a wall charger wouldn't just cut it. Alright, yeah, like you guys have already seen, the bot is able to respond to human gestures and react accordingly, all trained on a single neural net. At this point, the Tesla bot feels far ahead than the competition. I kinda wonder how Gen 3 Optimus is gonna look like. I have a feeling those will come with the next gen hands much improved walking speed and an overall improved and robust neural net that handles tasks and adapts to much wider tasks gracefully like a human. It's funny how Elon addressed everyone's concerns about autonomy, charging, 
lifting objects and climbing stairs with this bot update video. The future seems very bright if you ask me. You know sometimes I'm surprised how far we've come to attempt this audacious feat because building a digital replica of ourselves is actually an audacious feat. It's just a crazy time we live in. And this is just the beginning of a long journey ahead of humanity and I hope this bot benefits all of us as a collective. Alright with that said, I wish you and I a great future and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye fam.